Well, if Zircon is a good example of a basic theme in Drupal, Adaptive Theme and Omega are two theme frameworks that are unbelievably amazing. Now, both of these are still in development release for Drupal 8. Let's go ahead and take a look at Adaptive Theme. You'll note that Adaptive Theme is a base theme and that you need to use a sub theme for Adaptive Theme. Adaptive Theme is very close to release candidate and is usable as a Drupal 8 base theme right now. So we can go ahead and install Adaptive Theme. Go ahead and right click on the 8x1x-dev. Now again, depending on when you take this class, you might see Drupal 8 up here in the green. If you do, take the Drupal 8 that's in the green, not in the red. For now, this is what we have to do. Copy the link. Let's come back over to our site, click on Appearance, and install new theme. Paste and install. Now we don't turn this one on because adaptive theme is, as I mentioned earlier, a base theme. Let's go ahead and grab sub theme and it's just down here below called Pixture Reloaded. This isn't my favorite version of an adaptive theme sub theme. I personally like Corolla a lot better. However, this is the one that's ready. So go ahead and click on Pixture Reloaded. That's at drupal.org slash project slash Pixture underscore Reloaded. Scroll down and you'll need to find the Drupal 8 development version. Again, by the time you take this class, it'll be most likely up here in the green. Right click, copy link, and install on your site. Let's install newly added themes, scroll down, and now you're going to find Adaptive Generator and Adaptive Subtheme called Picture Reloaded. Go ahead and click Install and Set as Default, and click on Settings. Now, here's the difference between a simple theme in Drupal and one of these base themes with their own subthemes. It's pretty remarkable. There are settings for pretty much everything, including the kitchen sink here. You can change just about anything. For instance, you can have responsive menus, fonts from Google or Typekit, separate styles for titles, image alignment, shortcut CSS classes, mobile blocks, which is really awesome. You can hide blocks on mobile devices. Slideshows are supported, touch icons, custom CSS, more developer tools, and the legacy browser settings for IE6 through 8. And again, use with caution, don't enable unless you really need it, and they're not kidding there. Responsive menus, fonts, image settings for article, book pages, events. It recognizes all of your content types and says, how do you want to, say, align your images in your events content type? For instance, if I want them always to be floated to the left or floated to the right, short codes, and markup overrides. But wait, there's more. Clicking on layouts allows me to set up all of the layouts with the block regions and define all of the media queries right here inside the theme. We're not going to take all the time to do that. This theme actually takes quite a while to set up properly. Color scheme, there are multiple color schemes. But if you don't like the ones that come with it, well, of course, you can build your own entire color schemes. And then, of course, there are the normal base settings. This is really an amazing base theme and sub-theme for your Drupal site. Well, we've not really made any changes here, but let's go and take a look at the home page. And you'll see, wow, a brand new look and feel for your home page. Now, the problem here is, of course, again, we need to go in and check our block layout because it's different with Picture Reloaded. There are no sidebar regions here. Everything in Picture Reloaded is just listed this way. So, again, maybe not the best demonstration of this amazing technology, but you get the idea of how powerful it is 
by the ability to actually go in and set up all of those options using this advanced theming engine. Well, that's the theme framework, adaptive theme and Picture Reloaded. Again, you can play with these to your heart's content.